Um, all right, first up today, the importance of a very specific checkup. If you are hoping to become a parent soon or it is one of your future goals, there's no better time than right now to find out the status of your reproductive health because the reality is that one in eight couples have trouble getting pregnant. That's right. So today, what you need to know to help your chances of conceiving. Dr. Ellen Hayes is a board certified reproductive endocrinologist and she helps couples struggling with infertility. She's here with more on the basic steps involved in fertility exams. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Great Good morning. to see you. Yeah, you know, I love this. I think that I've shared this topic and what you guys do with this test that we're going to talk about with literally mm -hmm. all of my girlfriends who are still looking to have kids. I'm glad to hear that. Because yeah, we need to get the word out to the women in Milwaukee about getting this type of checkup. I think a lot of people are unaware. Yeah, and we're going to get into what that checkup is because everybody should get it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about age and, and how that affects our fertility. It's just a cruel joke to women, <laughs> right. but it's a reality. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to embrace it. Right. The reality, unfortunately, is that our egg quality and quantity go down as we get older because we're born with all of our eggs. So everything we're exposed to during our lifetime can have an impact. So by the time a woman goes through menopause, she's basically got a thousand eggs left in her ovaries. So she's gone from millions to a thousand. So the reproductive lifespan is very individual. So we can't really tell just simply based on a woman's age, how many eggs she has left and how well those eggs are working. We're born with millions of mm -hmm. eggs. That's shy. I didn't realize it was millions. That's You also get rid of more than one a month, right? Because I always thought you just get rid of one. You do. Yeah. There's many eggs that kind of develop in a wave. You ovulate one typically, but you lose many, many eggs each cycle. Did you know that? No. I didn't either. Yeah, I, I, yeah I knew it was more than a couple, but right. I didn't realize it was so many that mm -hmm. you're losing every time. But it makes sense if you're born with millions of eggs. I, I I wonder about what a fertility exam shows. What are we learning from an exam like that about our fertility? So we can, by simply doing a blood test and a pelvic ultrasound, we can give you information about how your egg quality and quantity are at that point in time. It's sort of a snapshot of your reproductive health right then and there. Mm -hmm. And what about for men? Because you do testing mm -hmm. for men also? We do, we do. We do a semen analysis, which is usually kind of the first and foremost test a man needs to check sperm count, motility, the shape of the sperm, all of the important things. Yeah. yeah. So once you get the information, you can actually advise someone on ways to help her fertility. I mean, you, the amount of eggs you have is, is kind of set, but there mm -hmm. are things you can do to, to become a little bit more fertile, correct? Right. Including some right. lifestyle changes. Right. So first and foremost, no smoking, no tobacco yeah. use. If you do that, even men if and it's women. social, men and women, especially women, because men are always making new sperm, but women are not making new eggs. And so any tobacco exposure will make you run out of eggs faster and will decrease the quality of the eggs that are left. Interesting. So that's an important one. Um, just as far as optimizing fertility, things like minimizing alcohol and caffeine, making sure you're observing a healthy diet so you stay at a good BMI. I'm glad you mentioned diet because there, the, the, nowadays you hear so much about these fertility superfoods. Mm -hmm. Is that right. legit? Um, yes and no. I mean, there's no specific food or group of foods that will make you get pregnant. Mm -hmm. But there are certain foods that have important micronutrients, antioxidants, lots of vitamins, protein um, that can be helpful and optimize fertility and egg and sperm health. So they're guidelines. There's other ways you could get those same nutrients. What are some of those foods? Because there are people who are like, well, if I can eat some of those nutrients, I'd like to. I'd like mm -hmm. to start there along with supplementation. Because it's trendy, it's kind of like the thing, but are there a couple that you could just add in your diet? You could, you could. I mean, some of them aren't that appetizing. There are things like cow's liver that <laughs> has all kinds oh. of nutrients. I know, B vitamins, Ugh. vitamin A, selenium. <laughs> Um, but there's more delicious things like tomatoes. Cooked okay. tomatoes have lycopene. That can be helpful. Um, beans and lentils have a lot of plant-based proteins. Things with vitamin D are important. I remember... Vitamin D is very important. Yeah, and that was one of the things I think in, in especially Wisconsin, so many of us have a low vitamin D here in the Midwest, and right. that is vital to be able to get pregnant, correct? Right, right. We know, we don't know exactly how, but we know that having a low vitamin D can make you less fertile, and it can increase your risk for miscarrying once you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that's actually always part of our full fertility evaluation. And yeah. that's a challenge for us where we live this mm -hmm. part of the country, getting vitamin Absolutely. D, especially naturally, Absolutely. is really tough. Absolutely. And you also have to look at if you're supplementing to make sure that your body is, is processing or that it's in a form where it's absolutely 
actually being absorbed. You're right, you're right. So we always check a vitamin D level because mm -hmm. I see many women that take a prenatal vitamin and take a vitamin D supplement, but they're still low because mm. of the, the climate we're in. Yeah. Speaking of huh. prenatal vitamins, are you a fan of people who are, if they're actively trying to get pregnant, do you, do you recommend that they, they start a prenatal vitamin? I do. I do. You want to have that folic acid on board a few weeks before you conceive to um, get the most benefit from that for the baby. So it's good to start that a few weeks ahead of time. So this test, people can go in. It's normally $700. Right now you're doing a special. It's for $99. And again, this wow. is going to include women and men. So women, you can get your blood work up. That'll give you your vitamin D, correct? We can do that separately. Okay, you can mm -hmm. do that separately. So that will be an additional charge. But blood work, that will tell you more about your fertility as well as the ultrasound um, to look at different follicles. Males, look at your eggs. Semen analysis. <laughs> Um, just mention the morning uh, morning blend to get also a 15 minute phone consultation to go over those results. Here's the phone number to schedule it. Tosa, you're right at Mayfair at 262-518-7448 or Johnson Creek and Dr. Ellen Hayes will meet you at either of those. Viosfertility.com is the website for more. It's wonderful. I think everybody should go do it. It's a great test. You're going to yeah. love it. Unless you're so. already done having kids. Yeah, unless you're done. Then, then you, you don't, don't got to. Maybe. maybe. But tell your friends. Yeah. Tell, yeah, tell yeah. your friends. Tell I think it's friends. a wonderful way yeah. to at least gauge where you're at. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very important. Thanks, Thanks doctor. doctor. Appreciate your You're time. You're welcome.